and welcome to today's video. If you guys caught my last video, you might realise I am wearing the same clothes, um, which, since I'm filming in the same day, I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna get changed during this video, so I couldn't be able to find a new outfit to wear as well for my intro. Potentially a stupid thing I'd done a few weeks ago was I renewed my ASOS premium, premium delivery service which is like the best thing in the world and the worst thing in the world and judging by the state of my room it was the worst decision I made I have ordered so much stuff some great pieces and some awful pieces which I thought were going to be amazing and there's nothing worse than when you order something and you think it's going to be amazing and it's crap but I'm going to be honest ASOS you failed me here with some bits you really failed me but let's get started. Should we start with a failure? Why not? Everyone has been wearing Prince of Wales blazers. I thought, yeah, I'm gonna invest a little bit of money in mine. I think this was like 75 pounds. It hasn't got price on it because it's ASOS. And I got this one for ASOS. I thought, yes, great. Got it in a size 10. Let me show you how beautiful I look. I mean, seriously, what is this? The shoulders are so broad. Look, I don't think I've got broad shoulders and it makes me look so broad. Uh, it's huge. It's just not a good look. Like I honestly think this is awful. It's one of the worst blazers I've tried on. This blazer did not work out for me in the slightest. Then onto a pair of trousers and I've had these for a while because they're a little bit creased. Uh, I'm going to set a picture here and these are one of those trousers where I left the house thinking I looked wicked. I thought yes to this new Instagram picture I'm going to get. Um, and then I got home, looked at the pictures and I was like, mm, they don't really suit me. They make this part of my thighs look quite big. They are big anyway, but they like accentuate that part. Um, I'm not sure why, I think it's the material potentially. They just weren't for me, but if you are a bit slim or just bit different proportions to me, I think these are a beautiful pair of trousers. They weren't cheap. I like them because I really like the detailing at the bottom. I think they're really cool. So if you are looking for a pair of trousers, these are nice, but they weren't nice on me. I picked up a pair of sunglasses. These pair, I've been wearing them so much. Oh, my eyes are so much more comfortable from the lights with these on. Um, I've been wearing these lows, they were £10. Really like them. They're, they're not like the sturdiest of glasses. They feel a little bit thin around the side, but that's okay because it doesn't. they're not bulky and I like that. I like these sunglasses. I would probably repurchase them if I lost them again, if I lose another pair of sunglasses. I like these. They're just they're a nice colour for like winter as well because I have really sensitive eyes and I have to wear sunglasses even in autumn and winter. Picked up another blazer. This one is red. I'm loving red at the moment, so I needed a red blazer. I did get the Primark one, but I wanted a different one that I could actually link to um as well. And this one's a bit different to the Primark one. This one's double breasted. It was pretty inexpensive. It's from Stradivarius. And I don't know how much it was. Be careful that Stradivarius and Bershka, sometimes it's more expensive on ASOS than it is in their own store. But I really, I think it's quite a nice blazer. See this one fits so much better and it's got, it's got um, shoulder pads still. But it fits so much nicer than the ASOS own brand one which just did not work out for me. Um, I like this blazer. Has it got a sit down on the back? Yeah, I think I just have to unpick it. Yeah, I like this a lot. I think this is, this is a nice blazer. A nice colour, like the buttons, like the double breastedness, like the fit. I got it in a size 10 and I'm very happy with this blazer. Then onto shoes, I'm going to show you these because I've already worn them so I haven't really got anywhere to put them other than the floor and I'm going to forget to show you them otherwise. These are my new loafers from ASOS. They were, they're kind of like Gucci inspired loafers I guess. They were £35 I want to say, or like £30 potentially. Really comfortable, really like them. I bought some little like socks to wear under them because I don't like wearing shoes with no socks, little black ones that you like invisible ones that you can't see um and yeah if you're looking for a pair of um little comfortable everyday but smart shoes i would highly recommend checking these out i really really like them on the quest for jeans these are the same pairs i spotted these in the froze to rebecca video and i've worn a pair of these and i got two sizes i've bought the size 12 uh oh oh maybe i just bought two size 10s Got two size 10s accidentally. I thought I bought a 12 as well, but no, I got two size 10s. Um, but I, I like these, they're not perfect. They're from Bershka, they were really inexpensive. I'm really sorry, I'm not gonna try these on because I just can't show you them because I can't like tip my camera far down enough. These are just okay. I will photograph them soon on my Instagram, so head over there if you want to see what these look like. Um, they're, they're nice, 
they're not quite perfect but I'm keeping them so they're okay and I think they were like under £25 which is a real steal for a pair of jeans and I think I got like 20% off or something on them on top of that so they were really really affordable so that's why I'm keeping them and they're, they're just nice. They're a nice colour though and I liked the the frayed hem at the end they haven't got rips anywhere else so I do think they're a nice pair of jeans um fit wise on me they're not quite perfect but they're nice. I bought three jumpers this one in black this one in like a cream colour and these two are exactly the same and then another one which I'll come to in a minute. Um, I have this jumper in pink which is why I'm tempted to not keep this light one because I've already got one that's very similar um, colour and exactly the same style. I'm going to try this one on feet. So I have the pink version of this jumper, I mean <laughs> you can barely tell the difference. And I think it's a really nice jumper, it's really comfortable, I wear it loads. It's a great one to wear in the summer, um, like on a flight because you're there always cold or just anywhere that you're a little bit chilly, I should go on holiday with me. Um, and I just think it's a really nice jumper, so I bought this one, which I think I'm going to send back because I think it's just too similar to the pink one, I probably shouldn't have bought it. And then I also bought this black one, which I'm not going to try on because it's the same as this, in black, fit-wise. Um, I got a size 10, um, and I like it, they wash well enough anyway they wash well um, they they're nice they're not like super soft but they're just like the the, the right amount of softness um, they're thick but not too thick they're just the perfect jumper if you haven't got one of these I would highly recommend them if you're looking for jumpers they're just a nice everyday jumper have I said that they're nice everyday jumpers enough they're nice everyday jumpers then I got this one have I broken my earring putting this on no then I got this one which is from a brand called Vero Moda, which I have a few things from and everything I have from them I really like. Um, and I really like this jumper. I haven't had a chance to photograph it yet, but I have a vision for it because it's quite autumnal in colours, I think. Um, I think it's a nice jumper. I really like the colours. I like this like, little pop of red at the bottom. Um, and again, it has got a turtleneck and they make me uncomfortable. But I think I'm going to keep it and like push through that. Um, really nice knit. I don't think it was too expensive. I will link it down below. I just think it's a really pretty jumper. Again, I could probably tuck it into stuff, but I'm not sure how people do this tucking jumpers into jeans. Because I end up looking like this. Once I wipe that out, I think this would look nice tucked into some uh, into a pair of trousers. I just think it's, yeah, it's a pretty jumper. And then on to dresses, and I have a few dresses to show you. The first one is this yellow one, which I'm going to insert a picture here of me wearing. I wore it to Brighton. Not really the most autumnal colour, really not really the most autumnal dress really, um, but it's a wrap dress, I really like wrap dresses, I think they're quite flattering on my sort of shape, and it's this kind of yellow material, it's not too short, which is great because I'm not too short myself, and it's a wrap dress, it's a proper wrap dress, it wraps the whole way around, which I really like, and it's a really nice dress, and it's from, is this from, no, this is from Pimkey, which again is another brand I really like off ASOS. Now moving on to a few dresses which I will try on for you. So this is one of those dresses I'm going to have to hold. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to love this dress, but I really wanted to love this dress. And I don't dislike this dress, but I'm not that comfortable in it. And I'm going to go back and show you that it's a little bit short. I don't know if you can see that. It's cute. I like it. But it's, I don't think it's right for me. Um, I do definitely feel like I'm just wearing a coat with nothing underneath and a coat I can't take off. Um, it's a pretty dress. Quality wise, it's okay. I think it's boohoo. I'll link it down below. Just step back so you can see again. I just don't think it's very me. I like it, but I'm not that comfortable in it. Yet another dress I'm gonna have to hold. This one's pretty, I like this. Usually I would pin this if I were to keep this obviously, but I just can't bother to look for a pin. Um, this one's pretty, but I think it's just a little bit too too long. I know I'm being picky, the other one was too short, this one's too long, but um, it also is a little bit bulky, I think. I don't know, it's, oh, I don't know if I just showed you too much. It's a bit like mumsy. This one's just okay, I don't love this one, I don't dislike it. Um, I think I'd keep this, but I ordered this maybe like a couple of weeks ago and I feel like now it's coming too close to, to winter. I don't know if I'll get enough wear out of it. It's also not one I can really wear with tights because it's so long. Um, but I've got one more dress to show you, which I'm really in two minds about. Final dress, and I don't have to hold it, yay! Um, anyway, I'm gonna go all the way back. This was so hard to get into, by the way. Can you see? I don't know if you can see, it's quite a long dress. I think maybe it's a bit granny-ish. I'm not too sure. 
Um, like I think it's cool, but I don't think I'm cool enough for the dress, which I think is the issue. It's a boohoo dress. It is pretty, but I don't know. I think this might be one that's going back. Finally, a coach. Okay, it's a good start. It's got... Oh no, it's not a good start. I think this is the same jacket as in my... As in my new look video. But I think this is way more expensive. It is the same. I didn't love the red one. Well, I loved the red, but I didn't love the, the shape. So I feel like I'm probably not going to like this shape either. I'm going to try it over this dress. I hope you guys don't mind. Um, It's just a fine dress. I mean, it's just a fine coat. I like it. But am I keeping it? Probably not. Let me know what you guys think in the in the comments. But that is the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Don't know if it was too long. I don't know, I had to like film in lots of little clips. I've been filming for ages. Um, but like to me if you enjoyed it, head over to my Instagram to see all the items that I do keep, how I style them, and some of them are already on there. Styled anyway. I shall see you all very, very soon. And like to me if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. See you soon. Bye.